हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू सेल्स फॉर साल्क सो वी आर बैक अगेन विद द न्यू वीडियो ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी इन दिस वीडियो वील बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू पुट द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट इन एच टी एम एल टेम्पलेट ऑफ एल डब्ल्यू सी so first let's understand what exactly the conditional statements are conditional statements are used to control the flow of execution on the basis of certain condition they allow developers to execute a specific block of code only if a certain condition is met let's understand the same with the help of an example so what we'll be doing we'll be creating a component and in that component we'll be creating a button and after that button we will be having some uh, some information in this div now that div we need to show and hide on the click of that button basically we need to give the toggle functionality so we will be putting the if condition that if the div is visible then we need to hide it if it is uh, like if it is hidden then we need to show it so this is a kind of a condition conditional statement we will be using in this whole scenario now let's implement the same example practically so for that let's switch to vs code so we'll be going to this vs code and we'll be just creating the component so we'll be creating a new component create new component and here we will be starting with the name so uh, render conditional template okay so this is what we have created so now uh, first uh, according to the scenario we'll be creating a button and the dev which will be having some information so as you know that for button we'll be just going to component library of salesforce and we'll just go to that in here we'll be searching for button first we'll be going to button and we'll choose the button that is brand right blue color and we'll paste this thing here onto the ui so that that we have created we'll give the label uh, of this button show hyphen height okay and the other things will be the same uh, and i'll i'll create the div as well that will be having some information so i'll i'll just create the card okay uh, so i'll create the card this is the lightning uh, card which will be there uh, and that will be visible something like this that you can see in the example right so uh, we'll just paste this same thing here i'll uh, i'll write it component and this is the component body right so that uh, what we have uh, simply created a button and a card now what we need to do we need to show or hide the card on the click of this button so what we need to do first we'll just go to the js file and in js file we'll start writing the code because uh, to make this thing uh, we need to uh, take the help of js right so first we'll uh, create a property that will be is visible by default is visible will be what true we'll make it true that by default that dev will be visible but uh, if you want to make it uh, like if you want to uh, hide it then we'll be uh, writing that in the function right now what we need to do that on the click of this button we need to show or hide that dev okay so we need to first identify that clicking on to that button is uh, like the event we need to identify basically the event and this is the event so on click is the event and on this event we'll be just uh, calling this function and the function name is what handle click but we haven't defined this function yet so we'll copy this name and we'll def define this function into js file okay so we'll just create this function now we'll check that if this dot is visible equals to true then we need to make it this dot is visible equals to false okay right now uh, the question was uh, the question might be there that why we are using this dot okay so basically uh, to access the value of the properties we will be using this this keyword right so we'll explain you in the later videos as well uh, regarding this but 
to attain the certain requirement we need to use that right and else if the uh, is visible is true then we'll be we'll be making that this dot is visible uh, true right so this is what we'll be doing this is what we have done inside this js part now to show or hide this thing we need to make the changes into the html template and for that what we need to do we need to put the template tag in this we'll need to put the attribute that is if true and we need to start this template now i'll just put this card into this template uh, thing okay now what i need to do if true means like we need to pass the name of the property that is is visible now what this uh, tag will be doing that whenever the value of this is visible is true then only it will be displaying the card if the is visible is false then it will not be displaying the value of this card so this is the is visible by default it is what true yes or no so basically by default the card will be visible but if you will be clicking on to the button and if will it it will be making it false then this uh, particular card will be hidden right so we'll save it we'll just make the changes into this true and so yeah targets target and lightning home page right and we'll be putting up targets right so we have done this we have created this component we'll deploy this component into our org so deployment has been started so we just need to wait to the completion of this okay it has been completed now we'll go to our org and we'll go to our sales app okay now in sales app uh, right now other components are visible so what i'll do i'll just uh, edit this page and i'll just delete the uh, previous component we'll see that uh, the component is here or not so you can see render condition template so i'll just drag and drop this component onto the top and right now it is here and save so we'll go to this so you can see that this whole is our component there is a button and there is a div in that or the card in that in that component so right now the comp the card is visible but if we'll be clicking onto this button uh, it is not showing the div again uh, let me check the condition uh, okay uh, basically we have given only one equals to for checking the condition we need to uh, give double equals to that was the mistake and if we'll deploy it again we'll just refresh uh, this the whole page and right now the component is visible if we'll click on to this the component has been hidden right and if we'll again show now the component is or the card is visible okay so this is give, uh, this is doing the toggle functionality that click on hidden then again click it has been visible so i hope now you got the clear understanding of how to render elements in lwc using conditional statement and if you still have any doubts comment below if you found this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to our channel